If you would, you can be turning your Bibles to the book of Matthew. If you want to look at some of the words in the 18th chapter of Matthew. We uh, we we read we've studied uh, in Matthew's gospel this past week. We see some good. We need some, we see some stuff that is interesting, and it's a blessing to uh, uh, to read it again and to understand it more. So, and it's talking about uh, uh, forgiveness, uh, forgiving one another. Amen. And even even in uh, in before we get to uh, the 18th chapter. Uh, I will, I will read something in verse 15 of the of the 17th chapter. Uh, notice it says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. That's Matthew 17, 15. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as a heathen man and as a publican. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall, not, or shall be bound in heaven, and, whoso, and whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. And so these are some of the, this is one of the things that Jesus was talking to them about uh, if thy brother offends thee, and uh, uh, how that you're to act towards him. And surely this morning we understand that uh, if a brother comes to you or a sister comes to you and uh, uh, asks you, it says that you've offended them, then, you know, you need to try to get it right. Mm -hmm. And if, if, uh, uh, if, 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 if they have uh, offended you, you need to go to them and tell them. Right. Of what's happened, but here again, Jesus was talking to Peter and and, and especially Peter in verse twenty one. I want you to read. Uh, bear with me in uh, eighteen twenty one, chapter eight, uh, chapter eighteen twenty one. Uh, then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? Well, now. We, we want to uh, see something here that why did Peter use the word seven instead of six or four or three or what? And you think about seven times, if, if, somebody, if somebody harms you in some way or, or tries to mess around with you uh, and uh, then they come back and, and the first time, well, you know, that's, I, I knew that, I can handle that. And I forgive them. But now the thing of it is, the condition of the person that comes to you and asks you that is very important. Mm -hmm. If he's sincere about it. Now, uh, if he's just playing with you and messing around with you and saying, hey, I want you to forgive me, and uh, he don't, it, it, don't, it don't mean nothing to him, and then again he comes back again and, and, and listen, then he's in trouble too. Mm -hmm. But still, even if he, if he asks you to forgive him, <coughs> you forgive him. And, and th this is the thing of it. You need to forgive him from your heart. Amen. I mean, hey, here's here's the thing uh, that's so important about forgiving. Jesus forgave you. Right. And uh, you know, through all the as we were singing about some of the the things that Jesus suffered, the pain and all the agony that he that he that he suffered for us. Listen, there is there is a terrible a terrible story about Jesus having to suffer on the cross of Calvary, mm -hmm. and 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 we know this morning that. Uh, he did it for he did it for those that would uh, persecute him. He did that. Right. He did it for he did it for all. And so when 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 this happens to us, we need to have a forgiving heart. And you know, uh, all we can do is say yes, uh, I forgive you, and mean it from the heart. Because but the thing of it is, you know you. This flesh is one that wants to bring it back to your mind. Right. It wants to every time he sees that guy first saying or something, he, he messes with me. He he tried to mess over me. 
But that's that's the that's the warfare between the flesh and and the, and the spirit. But we need to think about that as we uh, as as this happens to us in our life. And you know, there's so many people this day and time. Uh, they just will not ask you to forgive them. Right. And you know, that's the thing that's that's so hard to understand. If I do something against somebody, and I don't, and, and I do it even if I know I'm doing it, or if I don't know I'm doing it. I want that person to forgive me. And most of all, I've got to go to him and, and, and ask him that and get his, uh, get his forgiveness before I can go to the Lord. Because, hey, I've got another person that, I, uh, uh, that I've got to talk to about this thing because the Lord is the one that I need to really get everything clear with too. And so it, it, it's, it's, it's a thing that we need to have a, 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 the right spirit about us. But Peter... I wanted to I wanted to add, show you something this morning about about this in Luke uh, why he used this seven times <clears throat> and in the book of Luke I found this I want to read to you in seven chapter seventeen and it was something that they had practiced uh, in Luke seventeen forty uh, we'll go to first one. Look at Luke 17, 1. Then said, then he, then said he unto the disciples, It is impossible that the offense will come, but, uh, but woe unto him to whom it, they come. It were better for him that a millstone hang about his neck and he cast into the sea than that he should offend one of these little ones. And so there is a, there is a problem too with offense. You're Take bad. heed, in verse 3 says, Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repents, forgive him. Now, uh, a rebuke sometimes is, is, uh, is something that is, is, is sort of hard to swallow. And if, if, a, if a, a brother comes to you and, and, and rebukes you and says, hey, you know, you shouldn't have done that. And it may not be really uh, uh, concerning him. He may have seen you do something. And he said, you shouldn't have done that. That's not right. Listen, that rebuke is, is sometimes it's hard to swallow. And this flesh wants to, to blow up like a bullfrog and say, hey, it's none of your business. But it is. It may it's be. your business and it's my business to, to have enough love in our hearts to tell someone, hey, you know, you ought to think about that. Because you may be getting in trouble with the Lord. And so here he says uh, in verse... In verse uh, three, he said, or four, and if he uh, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him, and if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, and seven times in a day turn again unto thee, saying, "I repent," thou shalt forgive him. Amen. So here, Peter, Peter is asking the Lord the question: uh, Shall uh, shall we forgive him seven times? And uh, notice what the Lord says in. Uh, in verse uh, tw uh, 20, t uh, 22, Jesus said unto him, I say unto thee until seven times, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Amen. And so, you know, I, and, and you can't imagine, you can't imagine somebody coming back to you and doing something to you and even twenty times or even ten times or even seven times as that goes. But he's saying here, always have a desire in your heart to forgive those that trespass against you. Amen. Because of what Jesus Christ did for us. Uh, Jesus Christ helped no ill will towards us. God asked him to, to come and live in this earth and to die for us. And he did willingly. And he had many that, uh, that hated him, that killed him that did all these things to him, but yet that blood that he shed on the cross of Calvary was for all of those that had ever uh, did these things against him. And he forgave them. And so when we have these things to happen to us, I think we need to really uh, try to control the flesh. Amen. And, to, and, and this little tongue of ours, the first thing right. it wants to do is is to spout something off and try to put that other brother down and, and build ourselves up and say, hey, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. But then when he sees, when, you, when you, you, you're, you're rebuked, 
then that makes the flesh rise up. So right. uh, th th these are things that we, we need to think about. But anyway, I want you to notice something in the book of Psalms in verse uh, chapter 119 and verse 1. Psalms 119.1 is concerning uh, the word blessed. blessed. And uh, we'll, we'll get to this in, in, in a minute in this reading that we are. But uh, uh, he says here, blessed are, in verse uh, chapter Psalm 119, verse 1, blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of God. Blessed are they that keep his testimony, testimonies and that seek him with their whole heart. They also do not iniquity, know iniquity. They walk in his way. Thou hast commanded us to keep thy precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect to all thy commandments. I will praise thee with uprightness of heart. When I shall have learned thy righteous judgment, I will keep thy statutes. O oh, forsake me not utterly. Amen. And so this was the writing of, of David. And uh, this word that he's talking about, blessed, it means perfection or sincerity. And this is he's saying here that I may be sincere in all of my walkings and doings and talkings and that I may be uh, blessed of the Lord. Amen. I may be in His will. So again, here back in our lesson now, so Jesus uh, has, has told him 70 times 7, and I want to read something else in, in the book of Matthew to you concerning this, that in Matthew 6, uh, I want to show you just a little something else I found in uh, Matthew 6, 14. Matthew 6, 14. For if ye forgive men their trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Amen. Now, this, this takes on something that's very important because we hold hatred in our hearts and this old flesh dearly mm -hmm. loves to hate. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's that way. And you say, oh no, I don't, well... Your flesh does. Amen. Because it is an unruly person and it's it's sinful. It's never been saved. And it's it, and it's got that hatred in it. It's got right. that out of nature. But he says here uh, that that uh, in the verse uh, let me get back to where I was at now. I lost my train of thought here, but I want it's a fourteen. Uh, moreover when ye uh, for if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So this is the thing of it. When we when we come to the to the Father and we pray to God through the, the the Lord Jesus Christ, and we've done something that we know that we shouldn't have done, or we've had we've had ungodly thoughts. We've we've we just you know we we're, we're the the sin is on us and it's bagging us down. Listen, we need we need to have a fresh uh, a fresh feeling with the Lord. We need to have the opportunity to talk to Him. We need we need to be where that we can talk to Him, and He will He will relieve us. Amen. Because you know, sin or hatred or whatever you want to call it, bottled up in you. And you not forgiving the person, and listen, there's so many people that hurt you in such ways, but you're to forgive them. Mm -hmm. And this thing bottled up in you will hurt you more than what they're doing to you. And so, and they don't. A lot of times, they don't. That people don't know these things that that, that they're. Uh, but you, you see people that 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 aggravate you, and you 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 have your own little thoughts about it. And listen, it shouldn't be that way. We should say, hey, Lord, forgive them and forgive me for even thinking about it and go on our way because, listen, we're going to come back to the Lord that day, no doubt, asking Him to forgive us. Amen. And we need to be in that condition where that we can ask the Lord these things because I hate, 
I hate to, to have prayer and pray and go away as guilty as I was before I got there. Mm -hmm. And listen, if you haven't if you haven't if you haven't experienced that, then you're blessed. Mm -hmm. You're definitely blessed. But listen, I'm sure that most of us have because when, 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 when sometimes the Lord makes us wait on forgiveness. And, 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 and He does that because, listen, we need that sometimes. Just like we need chastisement from Him. We need to be chastised of, for our sins when we do them but to, to make us remember. Why do, we, why do we chastise a child when they've done something wrong? It's not because we hate them. It's because that they need the chastisement to remember not to do that again. Amen. And that's the same way with us. When, when here he says, For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will, will also forgive you. So that's, that, is, that is the promise. He will forgive you. But, and, and I believe He'll forgive you right away because, listen, your heart's right with Him. When you've forgiven a brother of their trespass against you, it's pleasing to Him. Amen. Because that's what He said do. He's what He told Peter to do. So He says now, notice, but if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. And so what have you got? You're walking around with all of these trespasses that you wouldn't forgive, and you've got them that you've committed if the Lord says He's not going to forgive until you get these right. And you're loaded to the brim. You're just loaded down. And people, that's no way to be. Amen. That's the most uncomfortable condition that you can be in. How can you come to church? How can you sit down and read your Bible? How can you pray to the Lord Jesus Christ? How can you do anything when you've got a load of sin on you? Right. And so, this is food for thought, and this is this is uh, this is good food because it will it will clear the air with you and whoever that is. Uh, 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 that, that you've got problems with. So, back in our lesson now, uh, back over in, the, uh, in chapter 18. Now, notice, uh, I want to read something else i got here. In Luke uh, 6, and uh, I, 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 I missed it, Luke 6, 28. <coughs> I know there's a lot of reading, but I, I, want, I want to get these things across because that's the way the Lord showed it to me. Luke 6, 28. Luke 6, 28. Bless them that curse you and pray for them which despitefully use you and unto him that smiteth thee on the one shall off, off, offer also the other and him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. Now these are pretty these are, these are pretty strict things according to the flesh. The flesh says, oh, no, that ain't the way it has to work. That's not the way. If a man tries to take my coat, I'm going to put up a fight against him. But I ain't going to turn around and give him a coat. Now, that's, that's the flesh for you. And this is what the Lord Jesus told them. He says, this is the way that you can do it, and you can have a free heart. Amen. This is the way you may, you may, you may, you may have your coat, you may have your cloak, and you may have to walk in, in the cold. But the thing of it is, when you talk to the Lord, you can get you can get through to Him, and He mm -hmm. knows your condition, and He knows if even if you've got a willing heart to do this, hey, it's pleasing to Him. And so He says here, "Give to every man that asks of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again." Now this is the thing that you know. Uh, People that steal from you. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to want to investigate and, and and try to find out who done it, where they have arrested. Well, it's not really pleasing to the Lord according to this. Mm -hmm. He here he says, here give to every man that asketh of thee, and, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And I I believe that's what he calls stealing. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Now, again, we we got a, we got a thing here. Uh, 
you know, a lot of people you go out here to buy buy a, a vehicle or buy uh, something or another, and and they've got a, 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 a they they want they want to sell you something that ain't no good. Mm -hmm. They want to they want to they want to beat you in some way. But now what does he say here? Uh, uh, and as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also them likewise. In other words, hey, you're not to beat your brother or sister or anybody for as that goes because, listen, Jesus Christ didn't say you short on the cross. Right, amen. He didn't say, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to guarantee you that, uh, that and I'm, I'm just, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm going to guarantee you that the, you, you got a home in glory. But when you get there, you didn't make it. I, I mean, and, and I, I know that's, that's, that's sort of comical in a way, but listen, I'm trying to get a point across to you this morning about what you do to, towards other people. Mm -hmm. You should be just as straight as a gun barrel towards other people. And if you've got something or another that, uh, that, uh, that you want to give them, you can tell them, hey, this don't work about it, or that don't work about it, or you want to sell them something, hey, and tell them just exactly how it is. And whatever the, the case might be, and I'm just using that as an example, but this is what the Lord's talking about, being honest towards your brother and sister or being honest towards anybody. Because he says here, For if you love them which love you, what thanks have you? For sinners also love those that love them. Right. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thanks have you? For sinners also do even the same. And if you lend to them of whom you hope to receive, what thanks have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. We know that about the banks. Amen. We know that they charge 12, 14%, give us a half percent. So, I mean, you know, th th these are some of the things that we can see every day. But he says, but love your enemies and do good and lend hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Amen. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. So, again, we get back to our lesson as Peter was asking them, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother? Well, you understand more, more now, I believe, and I understood more now, what the Lord is talking about when He said, "Forgive him seventy times seven, uh, because there's so many there's so many things that goes on in this lifetime in this world, and uh, you know we we fail we fail uh, our brothers and sisters in forgiving and for or for as that goes we fail them in rebuking them because listen it's good for them and 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 it's not it's not if, if I see a, a person doing something wrong it's not that I'm trying to uh, be ugly or nothing like that, but I said, hey, you know, uh, I think about that before I do mm -hmm. it. Uh, and it might save a world hurt. And so that's, that's, that's some of the things we should think about this morning as we uh, read this, we, uh, we, we thought on these things. And uh, I was able to read to you over there in the, in the book of Joshua, you know, uh, concerning the wedge of gold. And, uh, you know, uh, you look at the punishment that they they got because they just took the, the garment and the wedge of gold, uh, and, and, and of course God told them. He said, "Don't you take none of that. Don't you take none of that." Now the next time you go, you can have the cattle, you can have all this, you can have all that. But this time you don't do it. And it's the same thing with with us this morning with with uh, 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 loving one another and not trying to. Uh, mistreat one another and not uh, doing doing these uh, things like I've, I've talked to you about this morning uh, uh, even in uh, forgiving uh, we're, to, we're to forgive and we're not to practice not not forgiving because listen I've heard people say I wouldn't forgive that so and so if he was if he was in knee deep you know I, I just I, I'm not going to forgive and listen that's a terrible 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 condition to be in Amen. when you won't when you won't try to forgive or you don't want to forgive. So anyway it's it's something that we can we can think about and uh, uh, maybe you know it'll bring it'll bring you a little bit closer to the Lord because 
Uh, I know myself, if I've got, if I've got anything against somebody, uh, I need to get rid of it. Uh, and I don't, I just, I just don't need, I just don't need it because I've got, I've got my baskets plumb full. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's all I can carry and I don't need anything that, that will hinder me from, from serving the Lord and, and, and praying to the Lord. So this morning, we, we hope that this will help you some more. Thank you all very much.